morning. It feels like afternoon for some people who've been watching these results for a long time. But I'm delighted to be joined now by John Rental, who's chief political commentator for The Independent. And, and John, you've got some uh, views on what has taken place that seem to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more in favour of, of Keir Starmer than other people we've spoken to uh, earlier today. You think off the back of these results, Keir Starmer could become prime minister? Oh, ab- absolutely. I mean, I'm not saying anything different from... Uh the absolute guru, Professor Sir John Curtis, um, who is saying that you know, if, if Labour were five points ahead in national share of the vote, which is the sort of figure that's suggested by these results, then if that was translated into a general election, that would be a hung parliament. And any kind of hung parliament is pretty much a guarantee that Keir Starmer would be prime minister because I mean, the Conservatives only have the DUP. Um, as, as, as a buffer. Uh, otherwise, it's Keir Starmer as Prime Minister and the SNP would have to let him, let him take, uh, take office. So off the back of these results, not a, not a Labour majority by any stretch, oh, Pro- no. probably the Conservatives ahead of the Labour Party in seat share, maybe by a, a dozen, two dozen seats ahead of Labour, but Labour cobbling together a coalition to, uh, to boot out the Tories. Maybe, yes. I mean, the, I mean, it's ridiculous to predict. You can't predict from these results what the exact composition of a, of a hung parliament. But the point is that as soon as the Conservatives have lost their majority in that place there, they're in trouble. I mean, as, almost as as soon as they've lost their majority, Keir Starmer becomes, becomes Prime Minister. Now, obviously, it's two years between now and the, and the next general election, but you only have to look at the economic outlook and the, the unprecedented drop in living standards that people are experiencing and the, and the stalled economy uh, for it to be completely plausible that the Conservatives won't stage the traditional um, you know, recovery and support in the run-up to general election, in which case that means Keir Starmer could easily be Prime Minister. I wonder if there's a story here with regard to all of the other parties that we're seeing uh, play out over the last few hours. The Lib Dems doing a little bit better in the South West. Uh, the SNP expected to romp home in Scotland. The Labour Party doing well in London, but not so well in the north of England. Uh, potentially what we're seeing now is different parties doing better in different areas yeah. and all potentially working together to boot out the Tories. Well, it is a, yes, it is a fragmented picture. I mean, you're absolutely right. This has been a good, uh, a good day for the Liberal Democrats. It's been a good day for the Green Party as well, although not as, not as good as I expected. I thought the Green Party were, were, were heading towards overtaking the Lib Dems as the natural party of protest in the South. Uh, but that doesn't seem to have happened. But, you know, if you've got Lib Dems, Greens, uh, SNP doing well... Uh, that, unfortunately, from the Labour Party point of view, will detract from their performance, but they are all coalitionable, whereas the Conservatives don't have allies.